Hello everyone. Welcome to our new series of tutorials. In this series, uh, which will have uh, multiple parts, and in the initial stages, we'll be developing the screen capture tool, and which will be saving the screenshot of the uh, um, computer screen that you are using. And then in the advanced part, we'll be screen casting sort of. will be we will be developing the advanced part of the software in which we will be implementing the screencast related software such as recording the screen video and so on and this entire stack will be built upon the java so let's get started uh, creating a screen capture tool is pretty simple implement such thing what we need is to get the dimensions so we'll not be creating some fancy classes in fact we'll be starting off just here so what we need is to get the dimensions initially So get a screen size is a function which returns the screen size and we need to import the related packages NetBeans is a pretty advanced integrated development environment which prompts you in fact that you are missing something so If you don't know the exact name of class that you are trying to so suppose if you are not familiar with the exact spelling of the class name you can always press control and space it and it will prompt the relevant class the robot class throws some AWTX exceptions. So I think we should throw them. That's not a problem. And now we'll create a buffered image variable. Named IMG because it will be storing images. And now we'll calling we'll be calling the robot method to create a screen capture. It is as simple and in this we'll be passing new rectangle what we need to capture here it will be passing the parameter int then what you want to capture just a minute I don't know if it is why it is not get width from my integer. So what we are doing here is we are casting the values returned from this method screen size dot get height. So it is it is returned as double and what we are doing is we are casting it as integer. and this part is probably complete but why it is throwing error class expected i think we have closed everything uh, here it is close okay fine uh, we are missing one variable probably no Now since image is captured into its buffer, we need to write it. Image IO dot write
will be saving this image as jpeg and the entire film will be new file so I think we are done. We need to just throw the IO exception that ah, we made a mistake here. We have passed the IMG variable, we have passed the type of the file that we are going to save, and current analysis. We are done. Let's run this program and see if we have succeeded. Wow. It looks like that we are successful. Let's find out whether we are successful or not. Yeah. We have made a mistake there. Now instead of dot jpg we have given a comma sort of thing. So we need to replace it with dot and it should be you know giving some familiar message sort of that the screen capture successful or something like that. Let's try once again. This one is the previous one. We should be deleting this one and you know, buying it. We have done it successfully. We have captured this thing. And in the next part of this, in the next part of the series, we will be capturing these images every 30, uh, 30, 30 images in every second. And then we will be combining those images to form a video. So that video will consider 30 FPS screencast. Thank you.